I didn't know for sure if I was going to do this video. Um, obviously, there was big news yesterday um, about um, historically an enemy of mine. And, you know, I, I joked around a little bit because the British guy with rotten teeth was, you know, sniping me and stuff. Um, but I, I plan not to comment on it at all, really. Um, a lot of people wanted me to. A lot of expected me to dance a jig, I think. A Smaster um, 33 sent $10 on Rumble. Kill stream or we riot song starts at 2.15. Should be safe for kick. All right, I'll play that. Uh, Lenane says the notification I got was for kick, but I came to Rumble instead. Yeah, well, that's another reason that I... That I've been using on kick. Uh, Revan, no, you didn't get booted from from Rumble. There may just be an issue. So, uh, and I think there's about 40 people over on kick, but that's another reason that I use kick because their notifications seem to come through a little more consistently. And sometimes it's an alert to go to Rumble as well. Like, wherever you watch it, it doesn't matter really. But <laughs> Rumble's the main spot, but... All right, 2.15, you say? Uh, and our guest, I have that scheduled for about 8.30-ish or 9. And so, uh, I'll talk a little, a little. Last night was fun. Gabe needs to get a mic, suck a dick, and go away forever. Great. Ralph is the champion of fun. Thank you, and I love that title. <laughs> the champion of fun! How does he not have a microphone? I was saying that last night. He wants to go on all these streams. He wants to face Quintez. What was he gonna do it on his laptop microphone? What a fucking loser! I think that's a new song. This is like a whole album, is it not? Uh, thank you for that, James Gartner, and thank you for that, Ass Master. When he called into the show, he used his phone. But yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, because he called in on Telegram, I guess. Um, and yeah, I was thinking that, too. He sounded markedly worse last night. Of course, I stomped him out. That's not... This is kind of my thing, the blood sports scene, even though a lot of times I'm the moderator, and I will be the moderator again on Wednesday as Captain Tazariak faces Charles Moskovitz. True, who's the true Jew P might be a question, but also um, is there a genocide being committed by Israel in Gaza? And so that's the official topic, but we know Captain is black Hebrew Israelite. Charles Moskowitz is, Captain would say so-called Jew, but he would just say Jew, uh, and Zionist as well. And so I'm looking forward to that. I should have got a poster made today. Uh, I didn't get to do that. I'm going to do that right after the show. Uh, no show tomorrow. I will do something on Locals, but I'll have all day tomorrow to work on clips, work on guests, work on behind-the-scenes stuff, and then come back on Monday. We have Johnny Monoxide. On Tuesday, we have Thomas777 for about an hour, hour and a half, starting at 4, I believe, 4 p.m. Eastern. And then Augustus Invictus is coming on like 8 or 9, so it's going to be a little bit later uh, for our guests. But we should have two guests tomorrow. On Wednesday, we have the aforementioned Blood Sports. On Thursday, we have Albert Bashai. And then I'm going to work on more guests. I talked to Dick Masterson. Hopefully, we're going to get him on during the day, one day next week as well. So... That's kind of the table setting uh, for next week. So, And, yeah, I think the debate is going to be good. But, um, you know, you never know, but I, I think so. And Captain was messaging me last night about a poster. Yeah, You know, I, somebody I used to know, I had making posters there for a while. Uh, of course, that, that that's not operable anymore. I'm not the greatest at making it, but I thought about feeding it into one of these image generators and um, seeing what it could do. If I just say make a versus poster with these two images. I want to mess around with that tonight and see what I come up with. Um, also, I saw some people, haters, of course, um, doubting that I wrote the script for this video. I very rarely script anything. Longtime viewers will know, and I've talked about that a million times. I did script this video because I wanted it to be thoughtful about what I said and not just uh, shoot off at the hip 
And so I did script it. No, it was not chat GPT, you fucking lunatics. Uh, I wrote it in about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes, uh, recorded it on the first take, and posted it. So that's how the video went. I woke up. I was going to write it before I went to bed, but I was really sleepy. Stayed up longer than I would planned. So I got up this morning, uh, you know, had a little... A little light breakfast. I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier instead of just eating once a day. And uh, then I wrote it and posted it. And I've written a lot of stuff. Some of these mongoloids who can't string together two sentences, even on Twitter, uh, find that shocking. But they're really, really stupid. So I don't know what to say. But, yeah, I wrote it. I mean, I could, I could post the script if I wanted. There were a couple times where I a little bit, but not too much. Tommy Magnum 292 sent $5 beautifully stated message, Ralph, all the best. Thank you, and I'm going to play it here in just a second for those who haven't seen it. It's about six minutes. Uh, I'll probably take my face off the screen because it's a little weird um, to have me on the screen while I'm talking. But um, for those who don't know, um, I, well, I talk about in the video, but Matthew Vickers, uh, m me and him have had a long back and forth. He's the grandfather to my son, and I wouldn't even be talking about this. Pretty a public topic, and has been for many years. And you know, it's been it's been hell going through all this. Uh, I say in the video, I'm not completely blameless uh, in the situation, and you know, I've never claimed that. Uh, but I'll, I'll let the video speak for itself, and then I'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, right after but again wrote it this morning and scripted it I usually don't script but I, I wanted it to be uh, thoughtful and not just off the top of my head so a rare scripted uh, Ralph video but no not chat GPT you dumb motherfuckers uh, okay let me go ahead and hit it right now a lot of people have been asking me to comment on a certain situation, drama, I guess you could say, uh, involving my personal life that came out from yesterday. Given the things that have been said about me in public and made up about me uh, in public, I figured it was only right that I do offer a statement, although I didn't plan on doing that at first. But yesterday it was revealed that Matthew Vickers, the grandfather of my son Alexander, allegedly has almost half a million dollars in debt and is having his house foreclosed on, according to court records posted online. Not only that, he and his wife are dissolving their marriage according to those same court records. Again, allegations. Most of you would expect me to come out and gloat about this, given the ways in which I've been attacked by Vickers for almost four years now and the gloating his entire family has done against me. However, I'm going to resist that urge. Instead, I want to tell you some facts now that people are hopefully listening. No, I am not bankrupt. That is a lie put out by another party who has dedicated himself to trying to ruin my life. As you have seen with Vickers, if there is a bankruptcy, even an attempted one, there would be a record of it. That being said, I have certainly had to cut costs as of late, all while redoubling my efforts and my work. I feel like many Americans have had to do the same. However, only a small portion of people understand what it is really like to have lived through a similar hell as me, and it's not over by a long shot. I've been subjected to years of continuous lawfare by Matthew Vickers. Even to this day, there's a defamation claim in the California courts, a specious one, in my opinion, and it includes 50 unnamed John Doe's, Anons, if you will. I've had to spend thousands of dollars on defending myself against this constant lawfare on top of the thousands of dollars I've had to spend on child support for Alexander. This was all towards the Vickers family's stated goal of keeping me out of my son's life. Many men have suffered through the same. This is not a unique situation, although my particular situation is, but only that male portion of the population truly knows what it's like to be subjugated in such a way. Others have taken this playbook as well and have been running it simultaneously with Vickers. It would have been easier to never sign up for the abuse in the first place when it comes to my son. That's no doubt about that. But I pushed for the right to see him. I hired an attorney to make sure it happened. The whole nine yards. Many people have called this a boneheaded move. Perhaps it was if the goal was personal advancement. That was never the goal, though. I simply wanted to be involved in my son's life, be able to see him, have him know me, have some sense of me, 
that's how I was brought up. Never give up on your family. The idea of giving up on any children of mine was ingrained in me as just the worst thing you could do in life. After my mother died, I tried to think of what she would want me to do. She was my rock. She was my biggest counselor, my biggest supporter, really in a lot of ways, uh, my best friend. I believed I was doing the right thing by signing up for this. I had the support of others close to me in this endeavor, or so I thought so at the time. Now it's just me fighting all this and the other situation. I do not know how things will go, but I know that I love my son and want what's best for him. Going personal, even after proven lies from the Vickers camp just one month ago threatened to torpedo my life yet again, is not in Alexander's best interest. I'm also not blameless in every regard. I don't want people to think that. Um, that's not the case. I've taken the bait time and time again and fired off my own shots. That was very stupid. I can't deny that. I have rededicated my life to sobriety and I'm doing everything I can to make the best of the years I have left on this earth. The time for vitriol and invective towards those involved in my personal affairs has come to an end. It never should have begun in the first place and I never wanted it to and have tried to stop it many times. However, I did make things worse in my own way and for that I apologize. I wish Ariana and Faith the best as they navigate this new set of circumstances. Even to Matthew Vickers, I hope he finds some kind of solace and happiness. I know what it's like to have a deluge of people comb through every aspect of your personal life. Fan fiction and lies are a part of that as well. It's a nasty business, as I always say. But the real focus of attention should be on my son, Alexander. I want him to have a good life the time I've spent with him, which hasn't been much, unfortunately, have been some of the best moments of my life. He really is such an amazing kid. Bright, funny, intelligent, handsome young lad. I hope that when he looks back at how the adults in his life acted during this period, and that includes me, that he will not judge us so harshly. For we are all only human, and humans make mistakes. Alexander was not a mistake, though. He is a blessing, a true blessing. I love him very much, and I pray for his safety and prosperity every single day. I hope the Vickers family comes out of all this in a good way as well, because that is what is best for Alexander. Do not attack them on my behalf. This is not me harassing them or wishing more hate for them than they already have. I have sworn off the path of revenge towards those in my personal life, and I meant what I said to Ariana Vickers in private. I want what is best for my son, and I do not want this cycle to continue. I love you, Alexander, Xander, and I always will. Now, that was my video. Uh, I'll give a few thoughts on it. It kind of speaks for itself. Um, somebody said Ralph Moonlighting is a speechwriter. Well, I've written a little bit, uh, and, so, and I knew what I wanted to say. Um, almost didn't go into some of the history of it from my side. Um, but I thought, I thought it was necessary to kind of, uh, give my, uh, situation a, uh, a little coverage there, uh, during the video. Um, I have no interest in fighting with them. I've said this um, privately, uh, I've even said it here on the show recently, although I don't, I don't know if I said it directly. Of course, this was big news yesterday and everybody was talking about it. And, you know, I saw a lot of people in chat and super chats and all that stuff. And finally got to the point where I just thought that I needed to make some kind of, of statement and it, it was sincere. I, I don't uh, have any interest, uh, in continuing that cycle. Uh, and I, I do hope for the best. Um, I don't know if, if everybody on that side takes the video well. I, I, I just have to speak uh, my own uh, feelings there, my own words. And it, it came from the heart. And that's, you know, kind of my, my background and why I did it, uh, why I put the video out. Because, you know, a lot of people... Uh, we're out there saying a bunch of stuff about it. I don't know the entire details. I know what anybody else knows as far as what's been posted and stuff like that. Maybe it's not as dire 
as it's been portrayed. Maybe it is. I, I don't really know. Uh, I still have uh, some entanglements there. I mentioned the, the lawsuit that's still going on against me, uh, et cetera. So, you know, hopefully that can be settled uh, satisfactorily, uh, satisfactory, in a satisfactory way uh, for both sides. Um, I don't know how things will go uh, on all that, but I, I do want what's best for my son, and I don't think – uh, the continued back and forth is in his interest, and it's not in my interest or their interest, to be honest with you, in my opinion. Uh, and that goes for another situation that I can't talk about, unfortunately. Um, it's just uh, completely destructive uh, to the life of a child uh, to have, you know, their intimate relations involved in a street fight uh, for the internet's entertainment and I take my fair share of the blame for one for you know getting involved in all this in the first place and then you know not having the strength of character to bite my tongue and let a lot of that stuff go you know that's not my usual nature <laughs> I'm pretty pugnacious uh, as you guys know and you know, I, I'm used to fighting people online. And I've talked about this before. You know, it's still something I have to deal with. You know, it's still my instinct to go for the jugular or kick somebody while they're down or they're saying this, I'm going to say that. And that goes for, for anybody. But when it's, when it's personal uh, connections, no matter how strained those connections might be, it, it really takes on a different character. It puts you in a bad uh, frame of mind. And I feel like a lot of the mistakes that I've made over the last three or four years uh, directly related, they are directly related to me partaking in that activity, going down that path. And I don't want to do that anymore. And some people, I'm sure, will see the video... Uh, as me, you know, continuing that, that's not what it was about at all. And hopefully that got through uh, to most people. It seemed like it was pretty well received. And I know most probably thought that I would pour gasoline on things or, you know, do a little dance or, or whatever. Um, or, uh, you know, there were a couple segments yesterday where I was ribbing the guy with rotten teeth and stuff like that. That was directed towards him, not uh, not the Vickers, anybody else. Um, he's a loser and a freak, and so he's always going to be a loser and a freak. Um, I care about my son, and I want to see what's best for him, and I don't think me pouring gasoline on all this is what's best for him, so I'm not going to do it. And that's what I was trying to get across with the statement. Yes, I did go through some of the history only to to show, I guess, kind of how it got uh, as bad as it did. Um, I do hope the best for that family, uh, despite our history. And the reason is because the best for them is the best for my son. And that's, you know, I, I couldn't even imagine saying something like that six months ago, maybe not even three months ago. Um, but, you know, I've done a lot of soul searching. I've been through a lot. And I've just decided, and I've already said all this privately, but, you know, it's a public topic and, you know, not addressing it, that's, that's not worked for me in the past either. I don't think ignoring these things is the right way to go either, but definitely, you know, I, I got down in the mud and I uh, participated in a lot of this and I apologize to my son for that. If he one day sees this, hopefully I'll be able to say it to him in person one day as well. Um, so I, I, I don't want people to think that I'm portraying myself as blameless because I'm certainly not. Uh, but you get involved in one of these things and it just keeps spiraling uh, for years and it gets to a point where there's you just don't feel like there's any way out. Well, there is a way out. You just have to stop fighting. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. And, you know, I've gotten... Uh, I won't go into every private um, interaction, uh, but I, I feel like 
Um, there is uh, some movement on that with, with some people. Uh, I hope it continues, and whether it continues or not, uh, I'm not going to be uh, participating uh, in any mudslinging or celebrating somebody's financial woes or anything like that. So, you know, as, as crazy as it might sound, uh, I do wish them the best, and I know what it's like. <laughs> I know what it's like to have people pour over every detail that they can get their hands on concerning your private life. I know what it's like. Um, you know, some of this was court record, but also, you know, people start writing fan fiction on top of that or speculating on what's the real motive here or inventing their own stuff. And so I know how that goes. And, you know, normally I'm, I might not be in, in this place to, to feel sorry for, you know, people who have went against me in the harshest ways possible in public. And, you know, they did say some things about keeping me from my son. I'm not, you know, that did happen. But I said some things too. And I said a lot of nasty stuff too. And I uh, was part of the cycle. So I, I don't uh, absolve myself uh, in any way whatsoever. But the only way to stop it uh, is to... Stop it on your behalf, and hopefully others see that and respond positively. And I only put the video out because I wanted to have my words spoken on my behalf by me authentically, and I didn't want to leave it up to interpretation and leave it up to the fan fiction brigade. And that's why I did it, and I, I hope... I hope it's taken in the way it was meant. Uh, I wasn't trying to, to score any points. Just just tell a little bit about my perspective and how it has been hell. Like, this is hell to deal with this stuff in private, much less in public. And a lot of guys have been through the same thing. Um, and they know what I'm talking about. So, like I said, it's not a totally unique situation. But having to do it all out here on stream and you have rival streamers trying to to monetize it and do stuff like that i mean that's how the business is uh, you know i know how it goes but um i'm on a new path now and going back to where i was i, I feel like that's a recipe for um going back to where i was and other places with my mentality with drinking with drug usage, et cetera. And it doesn't just happen right away, but it, it weakens it weakens your, your character. It weakens your resolve all over your life. And that's just the way it happens. A Smaster 33 sent $5 on Rumble. You can take the high road and it'll take the low. Coin man can move into his boyfriend Cog's welfare shack in merry old England. <laughs> well, I certainly don't include cog uh in these statements uh he's a piece of trash and uh, i wish every misfortune possible upon him so he can eat an entire bag of dicks and choke to death on it for all i'm concerned um i certainly don't include him uh in these in these words because he's a piece of trash so you know it is what it is uh others can do whatever they or continue to you know, leak stuff or, or whatever, true and untrue. But I'm not participating in that. And I let my words here in the video and my words here on the Killstream after I play the video speak for themselves. And I certainly don't tell any of you how to feel. You can say whatever you want. You can feel however you want. Uh, I won't stop you. Uh, just don't do it on my behalf. Um, if you If you feel how you feel, I certainly respect that and understand that. Um, but I'm just not going to participate. And somebody in chat said it. The only way to uh, to win, quote unquote, or to get past it is to not play. Um, and I'm not playing with it. So those are my words. Those are my thoughts on the words that I wrote and recited uh, today. And I'll just leave it there. I think I said everything that I have to say and gave you a little background on my thought process and my thought process going forward. So that's all I have to say about that as far as Gump said. 
in the film. Now, I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. Now, apparently, there's some breaking uh, Thorpe news. I know that's a hard segue. I use that term sometimes. I try to ease into a new topic or, you know, relate it to something that I just said. I don't think this can be related uh, to anything that I said. Uh, and I'll just stop there with this because I don't want to get... Like I said, I scripted this for a reason. Uh, I, I said uh, I wanted to be precise. Uh, this was not scripted, but I uh, also want to just leave it where it is um, because I've, I've said enough, quite frankly. Uh, Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!